Hello, I'm Anna Mackay, and this video is part one of three in a topic called expected value. So here's the technical definition of what we're dealing with. If, the, if there are n trials of an experiment and an event has probability p of occurring in each of the trials, then the number of times we expect the event to occur is np, which is n multiplied by p, the number of trials multiplied by the probability of that um, number, that trial happening, the thing that we're after. We have one example to do for this video, nice and short. So we're looking at when you roll a die. So on any roll, what is the probability of rolling a four? So we start by writing that as a fraction. So you think about, well, how many different options could we get? One, two, three, four, five, or six. So there's six different options and the chance of getting a four, you have a one in six chance. That's it. Next here, how many times would you expect to roll a four out of 12 rolls? So as we did on the previous page, we're heading towards n times by p. So the probability of a four is one out of six. n, the number of trials, we've got 12 rolls here. So we're interested in n p, n times by p, 12 times by a six, and that's equal to two. So how many times would you, would you expect to roll a four? Two times, if you like, with the right times. That does not mean it's going to happen, but that's what we expect. Hence, this topic is called expected value. So you're rolling it 12 times. You could get six fours. You could get no fours, but this n times p is our expected value, a bit like an average, if you like. You can expect to get, on average, a rolling a four two times. Moving on here, if you roll three dice, what is the probability that they all roll a four? So we know the probability of one four is a six. We now have to take that into consideration for all three dice. So it's a six for the first, and then it's a six for the second dice, and a six for the third. And that gives us one out of 216 chance of getting um, a four on all three. And using this probability here, if you roll three dice 10,800 times, on how many occasions would you expect them all to roll a four? So we've got our N and our P, if you like. So our, our probability is in this situation here, 216, not one out of six, and our N is 10,800. So our n times by p is 10,800 times by that probability. And so on average, we might expect 50, 50 um, of those to all have fours. So this is the beginning of the expected value um, video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And there'll be two more parts to this um, series. Thank you.